wisdom from Leonardo da Vinci that I think every artist needs to know. Welcome to the CLC Paint YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. I am Chase Corrington, and normally I'm on here painting paintings like what's in the background there and doing tutorials and whatnot, but I've had this idea that I wanted to share philosophy or ideas, you know, wisdom that can help artists like myself that are, you know, going through the process because everything in life seems to be this process of a, it's like a psychological game. Like you don't just go do a painting. You can in the beginning, and that's a great book, The Beginner's Mind, Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind. But you can just do things like a beginner to experiment and to try it and to be in the process, with this, which is a great philosophy in itself right there that can help artists. But so anyways, I had this idea that I, I want to share these ideas that can help people like myself that are in the psychological part of trying to do the process of whatever kind of art it is or whatever it is you're doing in life, really. But so uh, I love this book here by Dr. Wayne Dyer, Wisdom of the Ages. And Wayne Dyer is one of my favorite teachers. I never had the chance to actually meet him in real life, but he's definitely a mentor of mine. <laughs> but so anyways, there's this chapter from Leonardo, or he does a chapter about a poem that Leonardo da Vinci did and it talks about balance. And I think every artist needs to know this, needs to consider this, and really needs to apply this in their practice. So the poem goes like this. Every now and then, go away. Have a little relaxation. For when you come back to your work, your judgment will be sure. Since to remain constantly at work, will cause you to lose power of judgment. Go some distance away because the work appears smaller and more of it can be taken in at a glance. And a lack of harmony or proportion is more readily seen. Leonardo da Vinci, 1452 to 1519. And I'm just going to read a little bit here of what Wayne Dyer says and kind of see if I can extrapolate with my own ideas, because this is a powerful piece of advice that so many of us would think that we have to constantly be striving and putting in the effort when really the effort is much better after we take a break or after we take time to step away and you come back with fresher vision, fresh, clearer vision, a refreshed point of view, perspective. But so Wayne Dyer says here, when a man such as Leonardo da Vinci gives advice, I for one am willing to listen with fixed attention. <laughs> Definitely when I hear, everybody knows the prowess of Leonardo da Vinci. But so I'll skip a li little forward here. Uh, Leonardo saw mystery everywhere and delve deep to understand it. He studied the earth, the sky, the heavens, recorded the movement of the stars and drew up plans for flying machines 400 years before the first airplane. Volumes of books, paintings, no subject escaped Leonardo's inquiry. And I'm kind of paraphrasing here. You gotta get this book if you've never read it. It's a fantastic one, but when you consider the sheer amount of creative work that Leonardo da Vinci amassed in his lifetime, you might conjure up a picture of a workaholic, a type A person who never did anything but paint, sculpt, invent every waking moment of his life. Yet his advice is quite to the contrary. And it's most important when we're in the process and when we're constantly wanting to get things done and you know, wanting to achieve the results, it's, we get caught in a loop and it's hard for us to get out of it and we end up burning out anyways. And so in, in order to avoid the burnout, at least from what I'm getting here, is that 
and it is my conclusion as well, Wayne Dyer says, that his advice is quite to the contrary of being a workaholic and a person who never does anything but paint. This original Renaissance man is advising us to escape from the daily routine and go some distance away to become more efficient and productive. And it's interesting because that's paradoxical. You know, it's like, how can I be more efficient by not doing things? There's a great line from the Tao, it'll be the second time I use it today, which is the Tao does nothing, but leaves nothing undone. And there's another great line that I like is that doing nothing is actually doing something. And sometimes doing nothing is more productive than trying to do something. <laughs> I'll have to work on that one. But all right, let's see where we were here. It seems to me, Wayne Dyer says, that highly productive people have a great sense of balance and harmony in their lives. They are thoroughly familiar with pacing and knowing when to retreat and clear their heads of the immediate concerns. The key word here is balance. To avoid being consumed by anything, you must be able to walk away from it. In the process of walking away, you begin to see your work or your family or project from a perspective that appears smaller, according to Leonardo. And so I'll fast forward here to <clears throat> the bit of advice that he gives at the end of this chapter. He says, to put this advice of the original Renaissance man to work in your life, in our lives, we should begin to practice detaching from outcome in our work. And that's, that's so key to trying to do any type of endeavor that there is in life because we're always attached to the results and we're never actually just doing it to do it. We're always doing it in order to do something else. If that's too silly, I just mean like for us painters and artists, we'll get caught in the process of painting to have a finished painting or to create a result or to sell a painting or to have something to share or we're never, well, I won't say never, but I think a lot of times we may get lost in that process of not just painting to paint, connecting to the outcomes. And so I'll go back. Practice detaching from outcome in your work or projects. Be in the moment, enjoying your activities for the sheer joy of the action rather than how they will turn out. Walk away from your work from time to time to do nothing. Remember, it does nothing, but leaves nothing undone. And doing nothing is actually doing something. <laughs> I love that. No time restraints, no deadlines, no alarm clock. In fact, no clocks at all. Just let yourself be and notice how free you feel in being. There's another great line. We're not human doings, we're human beings. So sometimes we need to stop doing and start being, just being. And you'll notice how free you feel. This kind of distancing without restraints will bring you back to your work with new vigor and much sharper judgment. Do what I do frequently, Wayne Dyer says, if I ever feel stuck, I simply turn the entire thing over to God, spirit, source, Tao, whatever you want to call it, and say, I don't know what to do at this point, and I feel stuck for answers. I'm asking you to guide me in resolving this problem. And I think a key point there, and it's something that he talks about, is the thing you're asking to guide you is a part of you, and it's in you and everything else. It's the thing that's beating our hearts and blowing the wind and melting the snow and growing the flowers and depends what time of the season it is for you. <laughs> but that thing, I'm asking, see, when you use the term thing, it, 
it, it almost implies a separation and that it's finite. But see, that's the point. There is no separation and it's infinite. And even using the term it. <laughs> Alan Watts says it's like a knife trying to cut itself. You just can't explain it. Uh, sorry. I don't know what to do at the moment. I feel stuck for answers, asking for guidance to resolve the problem. I say, I just recently been coming up with this. Give me clarity of direction and action. I like that kind of helps me in the way that I frame it in my mind. And he says here, it may sound simplistic, but it always seems to work. The answers come and clarity is restored when I ask the divine intelligence to help me. Remember that one of the greatest achievers of all time, talking about Leonardo da Vinci here, in a myriad of endeavors, advises you to every now and then go away, have a little relaxation. If there is anyone whose advice I would follow, it is the original Renaissance man. And see, that's just a little snippet of The Wisdom of the Ages by Dr. Wayne Dyer. I'll put it in the video description box below if you're interested. But man, it's, I think it's so important for artists, you know, especially for those of us that, that are doing these kind of paintings that you can do so quickly. The, this Bob Ross style or a la prima, first try. And you, you get in this repetition and this want, at least I did, it's a philosophical game. And so I wanted to put this out there as the first part of the series on this channel to, you know, help the mindset of the artist have um, a collection of different philosophies and ideas that are motivational and empowering and you know, I'm into self-help and spirituality and personal development and all the other names for that kind of stuff. But here showing up, that's another thing I'm practicing, the art of showing up. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. If you got value, smash the like button, leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought, if I should do more of these or what kind of painting tutorial wanna see. And Happy New Year. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Love y'all. I'll be back in the future with more painting or artist philosophy to bring your way. <laughs>